12, 2019, the <coughs> final. We've got Alex scoring, we've got me asking questions, we've got 12 players duking it out. Well, the first time, the first round is as we do with Q12s. Uh, we're going to play 12 minutes, it's two points for a correct answer. It's uh, lose half your score for an incorrect interruption. I'm sure you understand the dynamic mm. of uh, the way that actually goes. Alex and me can read the questions, or at least we're meant to be able to read the questions. Where did it do? Good luck, everybody. Uh, your time starts now. Good luck. Who succeeded Howard Wilson and preceded Margaret Thatcher? Michael? Callahan. Uh, James Callahan is the correct answer. Bong him down for two points. Howard Wilson. Howard Wilson. Howard Wilson. Which 1962 Ken Casey novel is set? Ashton. One flew over the cooker's nest. One flew over the cooker's nest. Two points are going to be useful today. Who became Italy's youngest prime minister in 20... Dave? Uh, Matteo Monti. No, well, he doesn't lose anything because he's on zero. Uh, in 2014. Uh, Michael. Renzi. Renzi is Renzi's two points. points. Absolutely useful two points. Puts him on four. What country has the oldest extant... Dave? Denmark. No. The oldest extant... Cricketers? Egypt. No. The oldest extant written constitution? Mm. Ashton. Iceland. No. Oh, team to go through. B. Switzerland. Simon. Austria. Lee. UK. Michael. Japan. Will. Netherlands. Hamilton is the United States of America. Please tell me. Which state did America buy for 7.2 Bean? Alaska. Million dollars in 1867. Chris Bean gets two points at position number four. The Colby's was a spin off. Ashton. Dynasty. Dynasty is correct for two points, making you on four. Very useful. The pool. Yeah. The Pula, P U L A, meaning water, is a currency of which country? Bean. Croatia. Chris Curtis. Micronesia. Lee. Serbian. Simon. Philippines. Botswana it is. Botswana. I'm finishing that off and moving that along. You weren't going to say Botswana, were you, Michael? Because I'll give you two points if you're claiming them. No, I was going to go for Zambia. Here we go. What was the name of the Turkish Empire that lasted from the... Lee. Ottoman. Correct. That lasted from the 13th century to the end of the First World War. The Ottoman, everybody was in there. Make sure that we are going to be taping these from now on. Let me assure you that those last five or six or seven buzzers were rather extraordinarily close. At ten seconds, at what age does a Jewish boy come of age? Chris Curtis. Thirteen. He's correct and celebrates his bar mitzvah. Charles Babbage's difference engine, Dave. Computer. He's correct for your first two points. Kiki. Chris Curtis. Hector's house. No. Lose uh, one, point one point for your for, for your dad, uh, for your <laughs> uncle. Sorry. That's a fight start. Kiki, <laughs> Pepe, Jeremy Fisher, and Kurt Simon. Frog. Absolutely, they were all French. <laughs> <laughs> who was the front man of Orange Juice? Who had Dave? You were first, but Colin yeah. Daffin was also close. Edwin Collins. Who had a Solo success with a girl like <laughs> Jew. Uh, please tell me which literary character is described as having abilities of deduction and knowledge, albeit Lee. Sherlock Holmes. L lose half whatever, uh, half of nothing. Uh, yeah, half of what two? Uh, no. Uh, Chris Curtis. Moriarty. Down to a half. James. Now I'm just going to go short. You don't want to go to Ashton. Yeah. Has Ashton got any points? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, he's down to two. Which literary character is described as having abilities, induction and knowledge, albeit limited by his poor physique and dislike of fieldwork, exceeding even those, Michael? Mycroft. Of his younger brother by seven years, Sherlock Holmes. Mycroft is correct. <laughs> nice one. You all, you should have known. Yeah. Which comedian played Orin Scrivolo, DDS, a sadistic... Will? Steve Martin. It is Steve Martin, etc. Little Shop of Horrors. A little quick before I get on with it. Okay. Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Math. Brendan. Isaac Newton. <laughs> you know you're right on that. Well done, Dad! 
who received his academic diploma from a Swiss Federal Polytechnic School in Zurich in 1900 and between 1900, Chris Curtis? Einstein. 1902 and 1909, two points, was employed in Bern as a patent examiner. Please tell me, good luck everybody, on which Shakespeare play is the film Forbidden Planet based? Colin Daffin. Tempest. The Tempest. Can you give Colin two points? Slow me down if I'm going too fast. It's all exciting. Of what is, of what is kinesophobia the fear? Beam. Movement? Yes, motion or movement. Chris gets two points. Let's see, is he moving up the table? Oh, God, if anybody could read that, you'd have got it by now. Let's go. Dad's army is set in which fictional Ashton is correct. D-Day. Just to remind you about that. What is the fruit of Pruna Spinosa, a.k.a. Chris Curtis? Oh. I'm afraid not. Lose half your points down to little numbers there. Uh, AKA the Black Thorn. Dave. Paul. No, but the question's finished, so you're good to go. Uh, Simon. Slow. Slow is the correct answer. Too slow. Ha <laughs> ha! See what you did there? What word describes something that might be found instead of gates on country roads, the field of play in American football, and Chris Curtis? Good iron. Yeah, grid, grid iron. And it will play for both of them, grid iron is good. And the starting position of cars and motor race, but I haven't got that far, so you're good to go. Two points for Chris. Next question. No, I didn't like it. I'm not sure I'm right. Which 2015 American dramedy film that follows a transgender sex worker who discovers her boyfriend and pimp has been cheating on her was shot on three iPhone 5S smartphones and is named after a fruit and colour which in turn are named after a city in Morocco? Simon. Tangerine. Absolutely Tangerine. It kind of made the news at the time. Often found close to a number one, what is a diaeresis? Brendan. It's a, an accent with two dots on it. It's correct. 4.43 to go. Mandy Moore provided the original voice of the princess in which 2010, Michael. Tangled. Tangle is correct. Disney animated feature. Two points for Michael McPartland. What was the title given to the heir apparent to the throne of France from Ashton? Dave. Yep, yep, yep. Two points for Ashton Davis. Which animals are a threat in the films Them and Steve Lacey? Ants. Well, that question went on a long way to the... Yeah, <laughs> no, I was... Ants is correct. Christopher Walken, Dan Aykroyd, Anne Bancroft, Danny Glover and Gene Hackman. Name the famous five's dog. Brenda. Timmy. You don't Timmy. say. Timmy. Two points. <laughs> I should have said <laughs> in that particular accent, 355, which actor plays the misanthropic, cynical, narcissist and curmudgeonly leader of a team of diagnosticians as the head of diagnostic... Chris? It's um, House Hugh Laurie. It is House Hugh Laurie. <coughs> uh, it reminds you of your brother Brendan, does it? <laughs> <laughs> curmudgeonly. <laughs> Two points for your uncle. And let's go. This is your uncle. A tacit would be a component of what? In his dark materials, when Yorick Birnison first appears, he was without it. <coughs> James. Damon. Huh? Damon. No, it's not Damon. Ashton. Suit of armour. Uh, yeah, it's a component of armour. I'm going to give you it's a component of a suit of armour. 312. Alphakia, A-P-H-A-K-I-A. -A -A. Alphakia affects which part of the body? Will. Uh, Bean. Aye. Aye is correct. Aye, laddie. Please tell me, what is defined as any substance that has mass and takes up space by having volume? Dave. Matter. Matter is perfect. Get in there, David. Next question. Name either English anagrams that can be formed by the notes to which a violin is tuned. One is a mild exclamation of surprise. The other denotes something having lived or existed. Colin Dafford. Egad, I'm going to Egad, yeah, and aged in the two anagrams, uh, E A D G. Please tell me, we're going to stop at two minutes to give you a roundup. Where on the body is the nutcha, N U C H A? Oh, Colin, did you want to press? No. Okay, good, Dave. In the ear? No. Uh, Colin, you're still alive, Dave, you're not. Ashton? The wrist. No. Lee? The Michael? The foot. No. Simon? Ear. Chris Curtis? Leg. James? Kneecap. No, it's here, it's on the neck. 
next one, next, 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 next one is this, and we're going to stop on two minutes exactly. The situation is uh, well. Have we stopped? Yeah, we, we stopped. <laughs> James, zero, Lee, one, Will and Steve Lacey, both on two, Colin on four, Chris Curtis on 5.25, Chris Bean on six, Simon on six, Dave Bill on six, two points behind both Ashton Davis and Matt McBattlin on eight, and Brendan Curtis on six, six as well. So. Anybody could come in and out of this five minutes. We will stop with 30 seconds to go. We've got two minutes to go now. We've got two minutes to go when I say go. We can see that five people are in the danger zone. James, Lee, uh, Will, Steve at the bottom and Colin having you. You know, if any of those gets a point, it's going to look good. We're going to start the clock in just a moment. And we are going to go on which fruit uncommon in the United Kingdom, is sometimes called a red date, and lends its name to a small type of candy drop, similar to a wine gum. It's a bean. Cranberry. Simon. Oh, hound. It's a jujube. Next one. Whose 1937 Pulitzer Prize winning book was her only lifetime published work? Michael. Margaret Mitchell. It's correct, two points for Michael. Which 1976 film starring Sophie Loren, Richard Harris, Ava Gardner, Martin Sheen, but Colin Daffin. Robin and Marion. Lose half your points. I'm going to put it on pause while we do that. Steve Lacey. Cassandra Crossing. Absolutely Cassandra Crossing. Uh, the full question was, uh, Lee Strasberg and O.J. Simpson feature a Swedish terrorist who infects the train's passengers as they head to a derelict arch bridge. As usual, once we have a buzzer flooding, the clock stops. <laughs> Moving the goalposts. 123. As usual. Good luck. What has been examined in the annual trial of the picks, PYX, from the 12th century? Ashton. Points. Coins is correct. Give Ashton two points on his total. Which musical instrument gets its name from the Bolognese dialect of the Emiliano Romagnolo language, term meaning little goose? Lee? Gossamer. Clock stopped. Dave? Hello. Uh, Chris Curtis? Baronet. Will. Oboe. Steve. Saxophone. No, it's an ocarina again. Oh, God. Clock starts with 59 seconds left. Ava Gardner and Charlton Hester again headed a long list of stars in which 1974? Lacey. Le 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 Earthquake. Earthquake is correct. Oh, you got dropped on those two. Reset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nephritis is an inflammation. Brendan. Kidneys. It is the kidneys, absolutely. And he gets two points. Which author, a mad racist who believed the royal family was descended from Odin, wrote Westwood Ho and the Water Babies Lee? Charles Kingsley. Charles Kingsley is not going to do you any harm. Reset, we're on 29 seconds. Four people currently going to go out. James Ward on two, Lee Warburton on two, Colin Daffin on two, Will Gosden on two. On three. Lee should be on three, surely, because he got a question right and he was on one before. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he should be on three. Okay, he's still in the danger zone, Lee. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry That's what we do, this, you know. In, uh, yeah. uh, then, kind of, Chris Curtis is looking fairly comfortable because you're two questions away from Lee at the moment. Well, he's, you, yeah, you're two questions away from him. You need two and a half. So, I don't know what I'd do in this situation. I know what I'd do if I were you. Yeah. That's doing exactly that's what you're that's doing. That's <laughs> for you though, Chris. If you leave it, they're gonna get it. Let's go. On 29 seconds, who? Who is the bringer of jollity in the planet's Lee? Jupiter. Jupiter's one of them what you need. Please tell me. Marco Go Golo. Marco Golo was a nickname for which Dutch footballer voted FIFA Player of the Year? Lee. Marco Van Basten. It was Marco Van Basten. Moving right along. Dili is the capital of where? Simon. East Timor. East Timor is correct, Simon. You're good. In terms of UK number one hit singles by two different acts, if Chrissy Hind was Cher, what group was Sonny? Dave? UB40. UB40 is correct. Last question. Uh, 
And I'll reset, so it's just a minute. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> going into the last question, the clock stopped. Sorry, should have stopped them one second to go. James Ward Zero, Chris Curtis 5.25, can catch Lee. Chris Curtis can catch Chris Bean on six. Chris Curtis can catch Steve Lacey on six. Basically, anybody who's on anything, if you press and are wrong, you will drop into the danger zone. You are on seven, Lee. Basically, anybody who's scored at all, if you neg, you're out. A lot of folded arms. Last question. Good luck, everybody. What word describes a straight line that grazes a curve? Will. Tangent. Tangent is correct, Will. Will, you were on two, it puts you on four, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's no, not no. quite enough. James, Chris Curtis, no! Colin Daffin, no! Will Gordon, no! Give these guys a lovely round of applause. that terrifying first round. Sorry. We're playing for <laughs> 500 pounds and we're playing for a lovely trophy. Oh, vice nice versa, who cares? Uh, eight people. The bottom four are going to be eliminated before the final round. I'm going to give you a question with six clues. You can press them when you like. If you're correct, you get the value of the clue. If you're wrong, you know what happens. Uh, good luck. Number one. Ancient examples of what have been found at a 300,000 year old site in Schoningen, Germany? For five points. Chinese Chuan food depends on them. For four points. Authentic Southeast Asian satay uses versions from the midrib of the coconut palm frond. For three points. The French brochette for two points and the shish kebab. Brendan. Skewers. For one point, I'll use which thin metal or wood sticks to hold pieces of food together. Skewers is as simple as that, and I'm pretty sure that on four points, a lot of you wanted to buzz there. Yep. <laughs> Number two. No adjectives. Don't use an adjective in this answer. When Kenny Jones, Ian McLagan and, for five points, Ronnie Lane, for four points, were joined by the significantly taller Ronnie Wood and, for three points, Rod Stewart. Mm. Ashton. Faces. For two points, yes, correct, he gets three points. For two points, they formed which band, releasing albums such as First Step, Long Player and as nods as good as a wink to a blind horse and ooh la la. Three points that. Yeah, Colin Daffin would have got five points on it. I'm pretty sure of it. The ruins of whose castle lie in the village of East Wemyss in, in Fife? For five points. Their clan remained the most powerful family in Fife in the Middle Ages. For four points. But the name is remembered for the 10th century King of Alba. For three points. Inspiration for Shakespeare's second... Brendan? Macbeth. No, Lou three points. Uh, King of Alba, three points. Inspiration for Shakespeare's for two points. Thane of Fife and Simon. Macduff. Macduff is correct. What are you doing? Two points. Whose only child, Alistair, took his own life on a railway track whilst an undergraduate at Oxford University on the 7th of May 1920? For five points, an author. For four points, born in Edinburgh, but largely raised in Cookham, Berkshire, near the River Thames. <coughs> this is for four points. Kenneth Graham. Correct. Who is it? Kenneth Graham. What was it? Ashton got four points, which put him on eight. For six points, a road at 
Weast. I don't know how you pronounce it. W e e a s t e. Weast waste in Salford. M five five F Q. For five points. Last significantly used for sports in 2012. For four points. Took its name from the genus Salix. For three points. What name do we give to around 400 species, also called? For two points. Simon. Willows. You get the full three points there. That's out that the two point yeah. question. Willows. Uh, so for Billy Joel. Swallows and Wazirs. And 1988 American high fantasy film directed by Ron Howard, starring Warwick Davis. Blah 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 blah. blah. For zero, I've got for zero points on here as well. For zero points and a persona of professional wrestler Jeff Hardy. Willow. That's, that's very obscure. That should be the six points there. What have been created? That's, that's very obscure. <laughs> right. It would that's never, six ever six have made the cut. <laughs> So, Simon, uh, was that four on four? Three. No, three. three. No, yeah. so it's three on two, so no one five. should be on five. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep him out of For six points. Please, uh, for six points, which settlement of around 1300 nowadays in Cochise County, Arizona, United States, founded in 1879? For five points, by virtue of its proximity to the US-Mexico border, became an open market for cattle stolen from ranchers in Sonora, Mexico. For four points, as well as a producer of large amounts of silver bullion. For three points, on October the 26th, 1881, an empty lot on Fremont Street, for two points. Is Vegas? Minus two. Oh, we want zero? You're on minus two now. On October, for three points on October 26, 1881, an empty lot on Fremont Street for two points, not the OK Corral. Uh, that is, Michael, okay, no, sorry, Simon. Tombstone. Tombstone is correct. Oh, man. Not the OK Corral. So the gunfight between Virgil Morgan and White Earp and Doc Holliday against Tom and Frank McClowry, Billy Knight, Clinton and Billy Claiborne in which unusually named City. It's a city of 1300. Can you believe that? Oh, yeah. So. How many questions is that? That was number six. This is number six. Seven. Yeah. For six points. Eighth on this one would be good. Which planet symbol is like the lower 70% of a figure eight with a smaller plus sign? latched to the bottom. So remember a figure eight, rub out the top bit, put a plus sign attached to the bottom. For five points, it's tidally locked with the sun in a 3-2 spin orbit resonance and for four points, the smallest tilt of any of the solar system's planets about one thirtieth of a degree. For three points, at perihelion, its distance from the sun is only about two thirds of its distance at aphelion, making its orbital eccentricity Neptune. I'm afraid I've got to take three points away from you. <coughs> Making its orbital eccentricity the largest of all known planets in the solar system. For two points, the winged messenger... <laughs> Michael. Mercury. You've got two points there. Back. A lifeline. Uh, Michael, what on... Minus, minus two. Minus so two, and you got two points there, which puts them on the zero. Oh, okay. And Chris lost three. Chris is on minus three. Looking good, Chris. What was stolen in 1983 from the BBC, but returned one year later after being spotted at an auction? For five points, Created by Frieda Lindstrom and Maria Bird, four points, they appeared on 26 programmes originally screened between September 1955 and 1957, and repeated most Fridays on Watch With Mother. For two points, which programme featured Daddy, Mummy, Jenny, Willie and Baby? For one point, Mrs Scrubbit and the... For one point, and it's Steve Lacey. Wooden tops. How far out did you want to go in on that one? <coughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> Mrs. Scrubby and the biggest spotty dog you ever did see. One point for Steve Lacey, 
could be a very, very useful one point. One point, Steve Lacey, minus one Brendan Curtis. Yeah. Michael McPartland, zero, clawing something back. Simon Ashton looking okay on eight and seven. Chris Bean on minus three. It's those mid-table mediocrity. You've got to be... <sighs> what were we on? We've got four to go. For six points, quite simply. Come back on. Who played Walter Robbie Robinson in Spotlight? For five points, who played, same person, Adrian Toomes slash Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming? For four points, Ray Kroc in The Founder. Would you agree with Tim? Yeah. yeah. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, yeah. I couldn't think of Vulture. <laughs> uh, for, for four points, uh, that's Brendan gets four points. No, no. Uh, four, yes. Yeah, four sorry. points. Uh, Ray Kroc in The Founder was. Beetlejuice in Beetlejuice. Rigan Thompson in Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Innocence, and Bruce Wayne Batman in Batman in Batman Returns. Three to go. One of these was born on August the 18th, 1774, at Ivy, Abermal County, Colony of Virginia. For five points, the other, a close friend, was born a tad over four years earlier, 75 miles away in Ladysmith. For four points, the former was appointed the second governor of Upper Louisiana in 1806 by Thomas Jefferson and died of gunshot wounds in what was either a murder or a suicide in 1809. Keep your eyes on these for the Can you all help watch these? In 1809. And the latter was appointed by James Madison as the fourth governor of Missouri Territory and lived 68, 68 years. One of Thomas Jefferson's goals was to find the most direct... Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark. Should Thank you for Should being on, on your own. Six, yeah. Well, it was designed to be a tempter for somebody with the last couple to go. So, uh, one of Thomas Jefferson's goals gives him two points. Two to go. Currently, <coughs> Dave Bill, zero. Lee Warburton, zero. Chris Bean, minus three. Steve Lacey, one in the danger zone, well, it out at the moment. Michael McPartland, two. Brendan Kershaw, three. Ashton Davis, eight. Sam Chilton, seven. For six points, known as the Burak, B-U-R-A-Q, in Islam, and for five points, the Kotel, K-O-T-E-L, in Hebrew. For four points, give either of the English names given to in a broader sense, the entire 488 metre long ancient limestone structure. I'm giving it to Lee. Ancient limestone structure. Would anybody concur yeah, with that for me? I think Lee was first. Yeah, yeah. 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 Lee first. Anyway. Wailing Wall. It is the Wailing Wall, and you were first. I'm pretty yeah, sure you yeah. were first there. Yes, uh, for entire Einstein structure, I didn't get to three, that's four points, Lee, and that is extraordinarily useful. Dave Bill, zero, in the red. Lee Warburton, four, in the black. Ashton Davis, eight, very much in the black. Chris Bean, minus three, in the red, deep red. Simon Chilton, seven, in the black, strong black. Michael McPartland, two, in the red, two points, behind Lee Wobber. <coughs> so Ashton, Simon and Lee are safe if they don't answer? Yes. yes. And I'm in the crosshairs? Yes. And I need to get three to tie you or four yeah. to... <laughs> on the 3rd of September... For six points. <laughs> Please. Yeah, well, we'll put the points in. For six points on the 3rd of September 2019, who received the first ever Game Changer Award at the GQ Men of the Year Awards? Elon Musk. You're out of here. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> For five points, with the middle names Tintin, Eleonora, Ernman. Greta Thunberg. Yes, for five points. For four points. 
No one is too small to make a difference published May 2019, he gets five points, Simon, was a collection of their speeches. For three points, a teenager working on her anger management problem, currently chilling and watching a good old-fashioned movie with a friend. For two points, who was named the Time Person of the Year Award for 2019? For one point, a 16-year-old Swedish girl who petrifies insecure men. So, could you please give Dave Bill a big round of applause for being a great player all year? Need more practice at buzzing. Come back every Don't moment. Need more the answers. Uh, Steve Lacey, one point. The uh, no disaster movie in there. Michael McPartland, oh my God, once again dipping out. Uh, but you are a, a reigning champion, are you? Yeah. yeah, so you got that. And Chris B, minus, minus, loads, minus nine for Chris B. Put it in there so it's there. Uh, well, two. Yeah. Thanks, Simon. Lee Warburton, yes, Ashton Davis, Again, Simon Chilton. It was, the, it was the tactical thing to do. Who's, who's, backed, who's backed who here? I've got six quid on Ashton. Looking good. What price did I give I've you? Lost mine. Five to two. Five to two. Yeah, you've lost yours because you had my P and Bill, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. I've got a quid on myself. 15 to 1. That's going to be useful. Somebody have somebody on Brendan's. Well, It's too tense, I'm never ever going to do this again as long as I live. Thanks for the Christmas present. Uh, it's the last round of the last part of Q12 in 2019. We're playing for this £500 and this trophy. We've got four players. We've had some truly immense players knocked out in the earlier rounds. It just goes to show that any old idiots can win this. Who would you pick? Ashton, you've got to be favourites. <laughs> You know, but I, 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 I was booking Brenton, but I put you in as a good second fate, you know. Well, yeah, let's go anyway. Anybody's one point for the correct answer. One life lost for an incorrect interruption. Three lives and you're out. I'll have 15 to one after. I'll have lots and lots of games. Good luck. The last question was, the French designer René Lalique was best known for what, Lee? Glass. Originally designed by English sculptor Charles Robinson Sykes, what were Lalique, the glass art company, commissioned to produce 200 models of in 1994 by Rolls-Royce? Ashton. Spirit of Ecstasy. The Spirit of Ecstasy is good enough. One point for Ashton. <laughs> what you've done there. The Spirit Medronho, B-M-E-D-R-O-N-H-O, or Aguardente de Medronhos, is a fruit brandy from which country? Obtained from the fruit of the strawberry tree, Arbutus unedo, that grows wild on the poor soils in rural regions such as Lusa, L-O-U-S-A, with the fancy bit, and the inner Algarve. <coughs> Simon. Portugal. Of course it was Portugal. Antonio de Oliveira were the Christian names of which statesman who served as Prime Minister of Portugal from 1932? Simon. Salazar. Salazar was the correct answer. Antonio Salazar. Two points for Simon. Question five. What was the surname of the founder of the Hogwarts house? Brendan. Slytherin. Slytherin is correct. Who's called Salazar? I lose money if Simon wins so. Which wrestler, despite wearing Gryffindor shirts, considers, considers himself a Slytherin and had a move called Avada Kedavra or was born Colby Daniel Lopez? <laughs> Why did I put that question in this set? Tell us. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is the correct answer. If Seth was the second of the pre-flood patriarchs, which of his descendants was the tenth and the last? Mm. It's Simon. Moses. No, but you haven't lost anything. Yeah. Brendan. Noah. Noah is the correct answer. I was thinking give of you the flood. Uncle, yeah, you give your dad. <laughs> Who portrayed? The title character in the 2014 Darren Aron... 
Russell Crowe. Fighting around the world, correct, Russell Crowe. In the Darren Aronofsky film, Noah. Be precise. Abbreviated to T-O-F-O-G, Russell Crowe performed lead vocals and guitar for which Australian band that he formed in 1992? No penalty if close, but no cigar unless perfect. Anybody? Something probably 200 foot of grunts. 30, 30, 30 odd foot of grunts. Yeah. So you, if you're just 30 foot of grunts, you wouldn't have got any penalty. Please tell me. Which American wrote, from 30 feet away she looked like a lot of class. From 10 feet away she looked something like something made up to be seen from 30 feet away. In his 1942 novel, The High Window, the 30 feet, Ashton. Oh shit, Luke Dick? No, no it's not. lose a life. Put me. In his 1942 novel, The High Window, the 30 feature, Philip Marlowe. Brendan. Name. Chandler. It is Chandler. Chandler Bing. Raymond of that ilk. Uh, which Englishman wrote, when I see a couple of kids and guess he's fucking her and she's taking Ashton. Philip Larkin. Philip Larkin is correct. How's that poem from Raymond Chandler? Philip Marlowe. Marlow. High window. High Windows, the poem was called High Windows okay. by Philip Larkin. Mm -hmm. Chandler. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In 2014, who was crowned BBC TV's mastermind champion after taking Philip Larkin as his special... Lee. Clive Dunning. The miserable <laughs> twat. <laughs> <laughs> Lee gets one point, puts him on two, I believe. Either one point at a time, so just add one to each one. Yeah. Uh, taking Philip Larkin as a specialist subject in the final. Composed by Neil Richardson, what is the title of the theme used for BBC TV's Mastermind? Ashton. Approaching Menace. Approaching Menace is one point. Ashton puts him on three. Name the Abyssinian wirehead tripe hand. Ashton. Nasha. One point. And uh, you were. Basically a tenth of a second, no, no more. It's one point for Ashton, puts you on four. The G on the beginning of both Nasher and his son Nipper's name is not pronounced. According to Michael Flanders and Donald Swan, what says... Brendan? A GNU. A GNU is correct. says, I'm not a GNU. Not a camel, not a kangaroo, so let me introduce I'm Gnai the man no moose. Oh, gano, 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 I'm a gano. Next topic is Gnature. What is the alternative, Pat? Brendan. Wildebeest. It's correct, and luckily you were there. Five hundredths of a second between you. Other than Sydney Opera House and herds of wildebeest sweeping majestically across. Brendan. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Yes, I didn't want to talk too much about that earlier on. earlier on today. <laughs> yes. That is Hanging bizarre. Garden, uh, suggest to, to Mrs. Richards in Forty Towers that she might, she might see the Hanging Garden of Babylon. That bus put you on seven. Uh, we're having one at a time here, not two at a time, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. <laughs> How much do I lose if you win? I don't know. Dead, you, you, may, you, may, you may only be with. Oh, that's all right then. Which king is claimed to have built the Hanging Gardens of Babylon? Brendan? Nebuchadnezzar. Oh my goodness, you're going on one again. You did this when you qualified. That's eight. How many? Reset, oh. please. How many? Standard? 20. Nine points. Starting in 2020, with the introduction of the polymer note, which artist, mm. Ashton, Turner. will replace Adam Smith on the English £20 note? Give Ashton a point, which puts him on five. Brian Clough's assistant, Peter Taylor. Mm. Ashton? Sport. 
<laughs> Can you oh, see where that one was yeah, going? Little round of applause. Answer. That was a good, really good answer. answer. Were you there? Touch yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch yeah. Ball. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah. any more? Barry Spencer Taylor, yeah. which is coincidence, yeah. two Taylors. Peter Pettigrew, yeah. Winston Spencer Churchill, and JMW W. Turner have all been played by which actor? Fantastic answer. Although some location scenes were shot in Hamburg, which German city? Oh, shit. Ashton? Dusseldorf. <laughs> was a setting for Derek, European detective from Germany, giving <laughs> him two points. One point, one point, one point, one point, one point, one point. One point, one point. Ignore me when I say two points, I'm just used to it. 77 you're on Ashton. <laughs> I'll feed the same pet. Which show tune contains the lines? I want the tune. I was born in Dusseldorf and that is why they call me Rolf. Don't be stupid, be a smarty, come and join the Nazi party. Ashton just print time for Hitler Simon you don't need to answer because Ashton was right <laughs> uh, eight points for Ashton and now this is reset <sighs> which country did Colonel Hans Oster of German military intelligence warn on the evening of the 9th of May 1940 with a message tomorrow at dawn regarding a German invasion. Simon. Norway. No, nothing lost. Lee. France. No. Ashton. Britain. No. Three, two, one. Belgium. Unlucky. Holland. No, mm. Netherlands. Damn it. Norway. Yeah, they got the heads up. So they put the Put the crockery away. Yeah. Netherlands. Who augmented Rudy Voller's perm with a wad of spit? Brendan. Frank Reichardt. It was him. Very useful because Ashton was just as. Uh, wasn't. Uh, as Simon was. 7.6059, Simon 7.6464. And we're on 7%, it's going up. Hooray! Uh, reset, please. Yep. To what does the Dutch name Rijka translate, for instance, in the context of Alice ik in Rijkaard, what you be d b d b d b d b d b d b Ashton. Rich man. Rich man. Oh. But, uh, it was in Dutch, yes. So, uh, that's useful. Nine, ten. Lee and uh, Simon, do you want to pull, pull your, your scars and your resources? Yeah. Okay, two and one, and then do the other end of the scale, nine and ten. I don't want this to end now. Who is best known for in excess of 3,500 performances? <laughs> Who do you think was first? I don't know. Who do you think was first? No idea. Ashton was first. Top on. Topo is correct, Chaim Topo puts you on 10 points apiece. Ashton, 10 points apiece. Come on, Dad! Reset, please. Topolino is the Italian name. <laughs> Lee! Mickey Mouse. Oh, we've got between them there! <laughs> By a chalk as well, Lee gets two. One point, one point. One. Is the Italian name for which internationally known character? Never receiving a cent in royalties, who designed and was granted a patent for and is generally credited with the invention of the computer mouse? Anybody? Stieglitz. Engelbart. Douglas Engelbart. Engelbart. Have you heard of him, that guy? Yeah. He cops up occasionally. Douglas Engelbart's co-builder, thank goodness you want Stieglitz, Douglas Engelbart's co-builder of the computer mouse, Bill English, shares his name, oh. Lee? Uh, New Zealand Prime Minister. With a former Prime Minister of what country? Bill English, Lee gets, oh my God, Lee's coming into the mix, he's got four points, uh, uh, was that one on Lee? Yeah, I put one on One on a three points then, Lee. 
Name a European country that has antipodes on New Zealand. Ashton. Denmark. Nope. Brendan. Uh, the United Kingdom. Nope. Lee. Norway. Nope. Tanner. Portugal. Portugal. Portugal and Spain. Wow. Very few countries have land antipodes. So it's the Pacific being pretty big. big. Portugal, Spain, Andorra, a tiny bit of France, and Gibraltar. Lee? Iberian. Iberian Peninsula. Lee? Lee? Uh, did you get uh, the last one as well? No, oh, I got the last one. The last one. Did you give him the point? Yeah. What risk territory encompasses Iberia? Brendan. Southern Europe. Nope. Simon? Western Europe. Western Europe is correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's D-Day moment. No, 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 no. Just have a good look at your dad's pissed off thing first. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Name the studios in Rome where Sergio Leone filmed many westerns, for example, the opening scenes of The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. Cinecetta, the Cinecetta studios, western was the link there. Much of which William Wyler epic movie of 1959 was filmed at the Cinecetta studios? Simon? The Big Country? Not The Big Country, Lee? Status quo. Not status quo. <laughs> what, were you, what year was it? Um, um, ben Hur. Ben Hur is correct. Oh. Oh. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, 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 that wasn't a tough, I didn't think that was a tough question. No, 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 no. Is that Ashton on 11? Mm. Well, William Wilder epic of 1959, where are you going to go with that one? Ashton, you need one. Reset. Reset. <laughs> <laughs> How many couples generally competed in the US reality show The Amazing Race? How old was the Olympic figure skating champion Sonia Henye in 1924 when she first completed in, competed in the Olympics? And how many Oscars were won by Ben Hur? Ashton. Ten. Nope. Don't lose anything, Brendan. Eleven. By amazing Eleven. coincidence. Eleven, to? eleven, <laughs> eleven. Everybody's on eleven and the answer was eleven. Could have fixed it better. Reset. Please. I hope nothing comes out it wash here now. I was going to raise the race, but. 11 11 in four and four. Yeah. There you go. So, duking it after the bronze medal, everybody. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> this is pretty unanimous. With what gift would one traditionally associate an 11th wedding anniversary? It's a freebie. Lee? Crystal. Nope. Ashton? Class. Nope. Brendan? Cotton. Nope. It's... Hang on. Well, just say it. Just say it. <laughs> uh, legs. Steel. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Are we good? Yeah, fine. Yeah, it's just, it, it just went on to your battery's low screen and was trying to... Buzz let's go, on let's go. Yeah. From what type of steel were Long Claw, Widow's Whale, Oathkeeper, Heartsbane, and Aristarch's Dagger forged in the HBO series Game of Thrones? Simon. Stainless. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anybody else want to go before we offer it out? Go on. Valerian. Valerian steel. Don't you wish you'd been in this with Seth Rollins and Valerian steel? Abby Harding, Boyan Chowdhury, Dave McCabe, Russ Pritchard and Sean Payne all played for which band who had a hit with Valerie? Subsequently, Lee. Zootons. Yes, Ashton was before you oh. as well. No, so. no you would, Brenda was definitely in before me there. I was sure you got that. Well, I've got it down here. What's written on the sheet? Well, he was... Valerie, 
Rhinos of Nepal, Lions of the Serengeti, and Cheetah Rock are three of the exhibits at which Bedfordshire Zoo? Lee. Whipsnade. Yes, Lee. Go in there, Lee. Kick me off that pillow. Oh, you, thank you. Name the chalk escarpment that stretches some 74 kilometres from Goring on Thames in Oxfordshire. Ashton. Ridgeway. Minus uh, a life. Just putting him in next there. Simon. Chilton's. Simon Chilton is correct, absolutely. By a whipsnade in the Dunstable Downs in Deacon Hill in Bedfordshire to near Hitchin in Hertfordshire. What surname was added to Stoke, Desborough, Simon? Mandeville. Nope, I'm afraid not. Lose a life, Simon. And Burnham, to the milk. Lee? Beaches. Pardon? Beaches. Not ah, beaches. No, minus one, a minus a life. Uh, uh. Ashton, you're in front yeah, of no, no. Brendan here. Oh, Ashton, crouch. you can't afford to lose this. No, I know. Crouch? No. Ashton is out. Give him a round of applause. Oh, right. Yes. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Brendan. Is it Poges? No. Oh, right. I thought was... Brendan loses a life, his first one. Yeah. Shall I read the rest of the question? Anybody? What surname was added to Stoke, Desborough and Burnham to denote them as county subdivisions? Surprisingly, only Desborough being in the defined area of the Chilterns. Hundreds. Hundreds, Hundreds yeah. yeah. Wow. Lost one. No, we've lost, lost, we've lost, lost one, one life, life yeah? yeah? Yeah, you've lost one life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Simon's on? Five, 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 six, eleven. Here we go. Okay. With reset. Hang on, reset, please. Okay. With 39 more than second place Rick Ponting on 71, who with 100 has scored the most centuries in international cricket? Brendan. Sachin Tendulkar. I, I should be getting really effusive and bubbly about this. It's intense. Things do tend to kind of mount up uh, in, in electrics and stuff like that. But uh, here's the your cut. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give basically just give yourselves and everybody's competed this year uh, a round of applause, but especially Brendan and the competitors in this and those people who dropped out. You all know where you were, where you're coming from, and things do go occasionally. But I never make a mistake. Brendan, here's your little trophy, and uh, oh, there's your trophy over there. And 500!